Powered by the smartness and efficiency of Apple intelligence, the iOS object remover works well in letting you get rid of the unwanted people or objects from your photos. The best part about this new add-on for the stock photos app is that it goes about the job without destroying the quality of your photo. While there is no doubt that it's a noteworthy inclusion to the photos app, a handful of users have reported that the object removal tool is not working on their iPhones. If are also on on the same side of the fence, I have got you covered with some handy fixes. That said, let's get started. Now before moving any further, you should know that the object remover tool supports only A17 Pro and higher chips. That means unless you have the iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro Max or the higher models, you won't get this feature. Another important thing that you must do beforehand is to ensure that your iPhone is running the supported version of the software. Note that the Apple Intelligence Powered Object Remover supports iOS 18.1 or later. Having checked the hardware compatibility ensure that you are following the right procedure to erase the object from a photo. To get started just open the photos app on your iPhone, then head over to the specific image and then hit the edit button at the bottom. Then you have to select the cleanup tool at the bottom. And now you have to circle the person or any object that you want to get rid of. And finally you have to tap on the done button at the top right corner of the screen to confirm the action and you are good to go. Should the native cleanup tool continue to struggle, why not force kill the photos app? More often than not, a timely force quitting helps resolve a malfunctioning app, so I would recommend you to give it a try as well. To do so, you just have to swipe up from the home bar to bring up the app switcher, and then you have to find the photos app and swipe it up. Now you have to launch the photos app and try to erase the irrelevant person or object to figure out if it has come back on track. If the object remover is being blocked or hindered by a random software glitch, the hard reset may help you fix it. To do so, you have to press and release the volume up button, then you have to press and release the volume down button, and then you have to hold down the side button aka, the power button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. For all the talk of a massive enhancement on all fronts including stability, iOS 18 seems to be rather buggy. Therefore, I suspect that an iOS 18 software bug might be blocking the path of the cleanup tool. Therefore, I would suggest you to update the software on your iPhone. To do so, you have to open the settings app on your iPhone, then select general. After that, choose software update and then you have to download and install the latest update. And finally, I would recommend you to factory reset your iPhone. If all else has failed in troubleshooting the problem, it wouldn't be wrong to bank on factory reset given the fact that it is traditionally very effective. Though it will wipe out your custom settings, it won't harm your media and data at all. Therefore, you shouldn't worry about losing anything at all. To do so, you have to open the settings app on your iPhone, then select general. Then you have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and choose Transfer or Reset iPhone. Then tap on Reset. Then you have to select Reset All Settings and confirm the action. And that's all there is to it. So these are the best tips and tricks through which you'll be able to fix object remover not working on iPhone in iOS 18 or later. Hopefully you have gotten the better at the problem. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy iPhone tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a good time. Bye bye.